Okay, so I've just made a very short video about the Earth and Sun cycle. And um, the Sun cycle being 798 years, and the Earth cycle being 2,128 years. And how clearly the Sun is the thing that warms the planet. Um, so then I'm thinking about the waves as they're going up and down, thinking, well, actually, like, if the sun wave is getting hotter, why is the earth wave getting cooler, sort of thing? But it's it's the earth is still getting cooler from its previous expansion period. So the sun and the earth have become, have got into this relationship because it's been ongoing, you see, so, you know, the Earth will always be cooling down from a previous expansion period. So even though the sun there is getting hotter and the Earth is still getting cooler. Now, why, again, then, why do we feel this? Why does this affect us? And the reason is, is because, and this, this is what, this opens this up so big. This is a massive thing about the relationship between men and women, between Mother God and Father God. This cycle is what they are going through as they grow, and we feel it because we're in their universe. I mean, we're on a planet that's given life by a sun, right, effectively, that is the mother and father's relationship with each other, and we're slap bang in the middle of it because we're experiencing our lives in their universe. They are nurturing us, and you know, to a point where we become adult in our eternal life. So, um, this this is just huge, and this this probably, most likely, will also apply between our own soul and our own soulmate, the relationship we have with each other. So, so, what's, so what's happening on this chart? The smaller wave is the sun. Every 798 years it does one cycle. And the earth cycle so it's a cooling and heating thing that's going on. So, so say the sun is going through one cycle, 798 years. It's like a growth cycle. So the universe is always growing. Everything is growing. God is growing, right? And so, you know, it's Father God who's, who's sort of heating up and feeling good in its growth period, it's that time of building up and then going over the top and then t time to sort of break down, analyse, you know, the growth period just felt and that's a cooling down effect. And the relationship that's having on the earth is it's heating the surface of the earth, right? As the sun gets hotter, it's heating the surface of the earth. And some of that is penetrating into the earth and heating the earth inside. Plus, you know, things are growing and sort of decaying. You know, all of that is having an effect also. Then the sun cools down and obviously it's having less uh, effect on the surface of the earth, even though it's obviously still having some, but less. But that previous heat is still penetrating into the core of the earth. It's still going. It's a long way to the centre of the earth through mantle, through liquid metal or whatever is supposed to be in there. You know, it, it, it will still take time. Then the sun heats up again. We're on to the second cycle. That then is putting more heat into the earth. And by now... The Earth is stopped cooling from its previous expansion period and now is beginning to warm again because of the previous heat of the sun and now this second one is coming. And then as two and two-thirds 
of Father God's Son cycles, 798 years, will equal one Mother Earth cycle, 2,128 years. So in the so in the two and two thirds time that the sun has heated up, if you like, now now the Earth is warm enough for it to have an expansion period, and this is when the you can see evidence for it going back 300 million years on the ocean crusts. They are the weakest crust. They will break first, but also you have more volcanoes, more earthquakes, and for mother for earth this this is this is the hard part of the growth you know this is its low part so we're all feeling that it's a difficult time it's 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 um disruptive right clearly it's disruptive to the surface of the earth and everything but it expands it gets bigger it grows and then it cools again so So, yes, I was looking for, because I, I, I came across these numbers, and you can check out my previous videos, and I said I needed, I, I, there ought to be some sort of um, planetary uh, backup to this, like with the, with the other waves, the moon, it was the moon, the 19-year cycle was the moon, and then we have the year, the month, and the day. They're all planetary things. And obviously these, these it makes sense that they're to do with the Earth and the Sun because they're the two biggest uh, things that affect us, obviously, in the stars. It's the Sun and the Earth. So I will have to uh, now research if this 2,128 year wave fits in with earth expansion periods um all i can say is that previously i remember i've looked for a 3600 one and although zachariah sitchin claims there's one i couldn't personally find it myself um and but i have seen evidence for the 798 being the sun that's what got me onto this pathway of thinking that and i but i will find more evidence of it um if it's there i won't just make it up obviously but no i've already seen the sun evidence there so i'm pretty confident of that but the earth one we'll have to see but i just have a feeling that it will be there anyway well there's one reason for that and uh I'm pretty sure back in the time of Christ, so very close to the year zero, that's where that the trough of the longer wave hits. Um, there were some bigger, big old earthquakes and uh, and volcanoes, huge ones, I think. So I have to check. Um, but also, this also will then fit in with the sixth trumpet being in 2090, when the, the, a massive earthquake happens. And then again, on the seventh trumpet, 2128, I think that's another massive earthquake. And that's when it said, it is done. Okay, so that's all good. Ciao for now.